Welcome back to Iratus, Lord of the Dead, folks. We went out on our first couple of battles in the last episode. We unlocked the arena here so we can train some units. I want them to heal up, though. Uh, though I think I will stick the Wraith in to do some training. Uh, actually, yeah. And we have our zombie in here uh, that's going to heal up in the mortuary okay now we have earned a talent point here so let's see where we want to put that i think hmm i think i want to get maybe bone spear Let's get Bone Spear. Okay. So, if we go back, I guess I should explain that a little bit better. This is Iratus' talents. And we can, with his mana, 11 mana, we can deal 12 to 16 physical damage to each enemy in positions 1 and 2. So those are the front two enemies. So we are going to jump into the dungeon here. And we are going to go over to this chest and get some artifacts. We can't go back, so that's not an option. We can only go one way right now, and that's forward. So let's open the chest and see which artifacts we get. We get Liquid Desolation. Eratus gains 10% chance to stun enemies. He damages with destruction spells. Okay. Undertaker's clothes. If th three minions are destroyed, destroyed in battle, Eratus receives maximum mana. Hopefully that never happens. And the grappling hook minions gain plus four luck, plus four accuracy, and plus four invasion. I like that. I'll Let's take grab the that. And take a look at our artifacts here. And I like that much better than this one. Fetching. So we're going to use that. We don't have any other. So. That is what we're going with. But let's go back to the dungeon and go into the next battle. It's going to be against the Slave Master, I guess. I think that's what they're called. All right? Taskmaster. Taskmaster. You have to throw these traps that are not very nice. So. What do we have here? We have these guys again. The Hunky with 85 vigor and 95 sanity. We have the Miner with 75, 75. But he has two blocks. And then we have the Taskmaster. The Miner is definitely the biggest damage dealer. So let's do a chest piercer on him. Block. That's fine. So that's one block gone. Now if we do smite, which attacks twice. Actually, let's try the spell out. Impale this wreck. That takes the block away, does damage to him, and now we can smite here and hit him twice. Very good. And we will use death comes for everyone here. And then for 20 damage. Very nice. Very good. Very good. Missed. buffed him so minus 30 accuracy that kind of sucks now our banshee here does not do any physical damage at all except for the howl which we can't use right now so let's just stress everyone out and make them lose four attack and four evasion <laughs> Good. Oh. Taskmaster here, he whips people into action and gives them some buffs, so plus 20 accuracy, plus 20% damage. That's quite a lot. We're going to use another spell. Impair oh, this guys. wretch! 16, 16. And then we're going to use the chest piercer here. Oh. More blocks for him. So, that's oh. 
didn't do a whole lot of damage, so that's good. Crit there, now the crit restores some sanity to them. Let's just take this guy out. Oh, as worthless as you gone. are in life, you will be he worth something in here. death. And we will... I guess we'll do this. Death comes to everyone. Crit debuff. Minus 30 accuracy. We will... Let's... Hmm. Let's do the stress thing and give them minus 4 again. That seems pretty good. Buffed him a bit. Okay. So now we can use this rose for a lady which will attack everyone. You can see the helmets there, they're linked, which means that it'll go through all of them. So let's do that and damage all of them a bit. Nice crits. So if we crit them, then their sanity goes down a bit. If they crit us, then their sanity goes up a bit. We'll stress them all a little bit more. <laughs> Your cries are music to more. me. And he has minus 30 accuracy, which kind of sucks. <laughs> this one hit voided its the bowels bit. just Very as good. it died. Nice, a miss. Okay, so... we If we use this, show them their place, then... You can see it says an arrow and three, which means that we'll move three forward if we use that. And I don't really want to move three forward, I think. Or do I? Hmm. I think I'd rather just do a bit more damage to him. Alright. So their attacks can also push us sometimes. And our attacks can push them so it's I mean all the abilities have spots where they can be used so we can see this chest piercer you can see the two uh, highlighted I guess yellow skeletons I think they're yellow means that it can be used in the two back positions so if she was moved out of position into spot one or two then we wouldn't be able to use that but then we may be able to use this Flames of Love, which is actually a really good ability, I think. So that can be used in the front of three. We're going to use the chest piercer on this guy. My kingdom nice. comes! Red, 43 damage. He went insane. Though so loses 20% of its maximum vigor at the start of each turn. So 85, so it's gonna die on its own. He's gonna die on his on his own. So let's just smite the guy behind me. This guy is going to die now. This one into furniture. Okay. Let's do the Acelerando again. So he gets debuffed. And then we're just going to attack him until he dies. Okay, he absorbed it. Smite. Nice. And a chest piercer. There. He's almost dead. Pick up him again. And is he are we actually wounded? A little bit. Doesn't matter. That little bit doesn't matter. Okay. So miss and his armor absorbed it. Very nice. So we can just finish him off here. And that is it for that battle. Another step towards my eternal kingdom. Very good. So, Iritus got 100 experience. We got uh, level 2 IQ, brain, amulet of the dream eater, and some stuff. So, the skeleton and the banshee got quite wounded. The knight, not really. And the bride of Iritus, not at all. So, that was a pretty good result. It was a pretty good result. Our Wraith uh, gained a level and our Zombie got fully healed. So that's good. Alright, 
So we're starting to build up a bit of a stockpile here. So that's really good. We, I, you can combine these so that they give some buffs, but I think I want to get more before I start, start doing that. So let's see, if we look at smite here, physical attack attacks wise, forms additional attacks for each buff on the target. 4% uh, chance to immediately kill the target. Bosses are immune. You know what? We're going to choose that and get bus 3 luck as well. My enemies are in for a nasty Our bride leveled up as well. And... I think a critical hit will deal 250% damage. It does 80. And a critical hit does 200% damage. Critical hit will stun the target for one action. Stun is really nice. But I think I want to use this. So 60% 13 to 16 damage. Sets target on fire for two turns. Dealing 30%. Dealing 25%. But it goes for three turns. But it only does 50% and this does 60%. I think we're going to go with this and also give her plus 3 uh, attack. Get back to battle. So she does a bit more damage. Okay. Let's bring the zombie out. Because he is fully healed. And we'll stick the skeleton in. To get him fully healed. And... Then I guess we'll use the zombie here and we'll do actually have a level so they don't heal they heal a little bit when they're down here but if they're doing something if they're in the arena if they're excavating or something like that then they don't heal after each battle so that is something that you need to keep in mind but this wraith um, I think I want to use him mainly for his dread attacks. So giving him more dread would be good, or giving him more uh, accuracy would also be good. So stress attack heals 100% damage, moves all buffs from the target, target loses 15 evasion for one turn. So this gives us plus 6 accuracy. But nothing else. This makes deal more damage, 125%, and it removes all buffs from the target and so on. But it does give us plus six accuracy. So we have a better chance of hitting. That's actually not half bad. But also go with the curse here. Curse is the target for two turns, dealing 45%, and we get plus two initiative. Kinda like that idea. Dealing 25%, dealing 45%. Uh, okay. I think we'll go with the Cursed Flames here. Uh, give us, giving us some more initiative Serve as well. Serve me well, my minion. Okay. So that is that. Let's see. Our Banshee here is a little bit wounded. It's not that bad, but... And our Dark Knight is as well, but that's basically nothing. And he can heal himself if we use his ulti. So... Almost good. Let's see. We can't create another Banshee. We could create a Bride. I don't want to bring another Bride, though. Create an a lich or a skeleton. You know what? Let's craft a lich. Um, let's see. Do we want to make him a little bit better? You know what? I think I do. Let's go to alchemy, and we want to. Have skulls, fill them, and crap. So now you can work. see this gives plus one dread. So that's pretty nice. 
what else did we need for him? For the lich, we need bones, dust, and rags. So let's see. If we do bones, it's no gold, but it will attack. do. Uh, dust, we only have one of. Rags, we have two of those. A uh, skeleton will clean up one this mess Great. later. Okay. So, let's... Oops, not there. We want to go to creation. And we want to craft a lich. And I want... The dread items. I don't think... Do I... Magic attack, that is actually pretty good. We have a buff. Support. And that kills an ally, I don't really call that support. A trap creates a cloud. Dealing 18 to 21 stress damage. Okay. Rain of fire deals magic damage. It does actually do physical damage. Quite a bit of physical damage as well. So we will take all of the best items that we have here. Actually, that does do that one. Toxic Cloud. So yeah, we'll craft him. Ooh, a vessel of indiscriminate magical carnage. And we'll immediately give him the... Level 2 IQ or IQ 20 to level him up and get a skill point. And I think we'll use that skill point for some more dread. That could actually be very, very useful. Or some more initiative. That gains plus 12 attack and plus 15 dread. Plus 12 in second, plus 15 dread. So this basically just gives us the two initiative. Over here though, we get plus two attack and plus two dread. I think we're going to go My with that. Plus two of each then. So we're going to go with that. Okay. And we're going to take the Lich out instead of the Banshee that's wounded. And third place is a perfect positioning for him. He can use all his abilities there. So let's do that. Okay, the Fountain of Power can, that can restore mana to Uritus or bigger to minions. We're going to use this squad here because they are wounded, right? And we're going to send them over this and we'll heal them up because we basically have full mana anyway so let's restore this vigor and all of them are now fully healed outstanding so we have a lot of fully functional so what we can do here we fill this up and craft this mm, skeleton. Humans become much sturdier. Go to the graveyard and their we vital organs. build this excavation thing and stick someone in there. Doesn't really matter who. Just stick the lich in, because then after each uh, uh, combat or if after each victory in in battle, at least uh, we get one uh, minion part. From, from this guy. So we stick him in, in there for now. Okay, let's go back to the dungeon and see where we want to go. So over here we have the stilly, which will give us experience. Over here we have a quest. But here we have an elite squad, and I think we want to go around the elite squads right now. We have an elite squad up there as well, but here we have a grave before. Hmm. You know what? Let's go this way. We'll get the grave after over there, but that's okay, I think. 
There is an artifact thing. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go over to this guy. And battle him. Okay. We have a couple of miners, a hunky, and a taskmaster. Okay. The hunkies have their stupid... Hmm. They have their... What's it called? Block. So I think we're going to go with some warning shots on them. Take a, just chip away at their sanity. I think that makes sense. I think that makes sense. Uh, let's do the toxic cloud on that position. Hope there will still be enough Very left nice. to reanimate. He's basically out of sanity. We will... Let's do... Even more powder for this guy. Our zombie here. And you can do the hollow stare on this guy. His sanity away completely. Those traps. Oh. How? Knock it off, dude. Okay. See, we want to do some more sanity damage to these guys. There he dies. Well, no, he went insane. Minus 75% or 75% chance to attack an ally. Uses 15 accuracy, 15 invasion, and 15 luck. That's pretty good. Okay, let's do even more powder for him. And then next time we'll take a shot at this guy who has the most health. Maybe killing him. You can do your hollow stare at this guy. Good. Savor these Very last good. few heartbeats. Nice. A little bit of damage for him. Quite a bit of damage for him because of the trap there. Um, let's... Do this. Buff him up. Right. He's whipping away at his own dude there. And let's do a warning shot on this guy. Okay, so his sanity is completely gone as well. Ouch. That trap. That really hurts. That really hurts. Let's do Abyssal Hunger. Do some damage to all of them and heal him up to 100%. Yeah, Ow! Alright, you are going to cannonball this guy. One 285 one damage. Life vanishes I think he's dead. This world. I think he's dead. Why do you... Oh... He died, which means that they get their sanity back. That kind of sucks. I forgot about that. Because when the Taskmaster dies, they get sanity back. Let's go there again. I really want them to die from the stress. Okay. Minus 15 accuracy, 5% chance to track an ally, which you did, very good. And then we will... I think we'll cannonball that guy. But let's first do even more powder, and then cannonball him. 
Attacks his own. He took a block away from him, that's good. Okay. And stress him out some more. Oh, my darling, kill! And then we will. Stress him out some more. One more for the right, stockpiles. Good. And now it's your turn, and you are going to attack him. Good, nice. good. He's dead. More materials. Do not kill my zombie. Ooh, I didn't it would be this easy. That kind of hurts. That kind of hurts. All right, we're going to do this. Let's get the block out of the way, so we can do some physical damage to him. Uh, that's. Cannonball him. Blow them to pieces! Crit. Very nice. And then we'll flame. Oh. And that'll take him out. Okay. As we lost the leech though, which we sucks. Got some architect souls, some dust, bones, rags, skull, and a scroll of skullfall. Okay. Our Skeleton has been healed, and we got some flesh from our lich in the graveyard here. Good. And we got another talent point. So... What do we want to get? I think I want to get... Transplantation, maybe, or Relic Seeker. Hmm. Actually, let's uh, get the Arcana and the Diluvia for plus five mana for Magic Shafter. Let's see. Allows Eertus to use Skullfall in combat. One time use. I don't know what that is. This is critical hit strength of enemies by 20%. Now I will Get make that mortals there. tremble before me. Well, even more than previously. Okay. Let's see, we have the skeleton healed up. We can come out. The zombie is going in there. And then we have the bride here who is no not well. Not well. Use the banshee and the wraith. Like that. It would be better to. It might be better to just focus on either stress or physical damage in a squad so that you have maybe a squad that does all physical damage and a squad that does all uh, mental damage. But I'm not really sure about that. I'm gonna have to think that through. But. That is going to be in the next episode that we f figure that out, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.